I used to love auditions. Uh, not normally, but like I, I, I grew into loving them just because it was a chance to like connect and interact with casting directors. And I feel like that connection is, is in large part what helped me get roles. Cause there would be things that I was like kind of off on, but like, I don't know, they, they would connect with me and they like me. And that was what like got me the callback or got me the second chance to go in there and, and rework something or to play around or what have you. Um, now everything's tapes. Like I, I haven't been in the rooms since like 2019. I agree with Jojo. You know, there's just a little bit of magic in the room that I feel like got me my start that I may not have gotten on a tape. Like mm -hmm. there's something that casting directors or directors or producers look for in that pre like your presence is really hard to translate through the screen uh, as far as Zoom goes. And so what happens is you start to have to rely on resume and credits and also you have to rely on relationships and people that, that know you that can say, yeah, we love this guy and let's rock with this guy. You know, as opposed to going in a room and unknown and going like, wow, wait a second. Where are you from? I like just trying different things and then sending like I, I'm a big fan for myself of like sending alternate takes. Um which we sometimes can and can't do in a live audition situation, but I almost always send an alt take or two. <laughs> so um, I, for me, I think I actually book more off of tape um, than in the room. I like the first one to be a self tape. So I can say, I can send what I really, really, really liked. And I'm not nervous to meet the casting director to see them or like, I'm fine. And then I love the callback to be present. I mean, because then they can feel your energy, they can see you, they can like really connect with you. You know, yeah. now you don't have any connection. Now it's like, well, it's just, yeah. this, you know, like, so the callback is not really a callback. It's just another self thing. It's like, well, how is that a callback? I'm just going to do the same because I'm not getting any directions anyway. You have to know that when they give you a last minute audition, it isn't because they like to sit back and go, <laughs> let's just see if we can screw with these actors. And a lot of actors think that way. They're like, this is so disrespectful. Why do they do this? It's like they don't do it to be disrespectful. They do that because it's the amount of time that they have. That's what they're able to do. Whether or not we like it and it will change, they're not going to give us 15 pages for an hour long the night before anymore. I hope that will change. But until they do, and the producers who's in Bucharest finishing up his other pilot needs to see it at his morning before he gets on a flight. The person who did the 15 pages will, will book it. The, the, the ones that like Michael and I have talked about, the ones who will complain won't. So right now it sucks. It's in transition, but in this last minute self tape world, I always come and I'm sure, you know, it's we, we, race has something to do with this where I'm getting at. When you are a gay person of color, sometimes you just have to do the things that you have to do. And I'm sure other people on this panel, everyone know, out there too, knows that there are some of us who just have to do it. You have to just take it and do it. And right now we're in this transition and those of us who can and do are really going to succeed in the self-tape world. I really want to encourage anybody watching. Listen, I, I don't love the self-tape. Some people do. But... The one thing I know is that they are, they exist. This is what we are doing. And it's time to get over it. It's time to, to work out your anger, frustration, and, and move those things out of, out of your life because it's not going to help. No amount of railing against it is going to make those go away. The other tip um, is to know your environment. I know in my neighborhood on Friday, you got leaf blowers and garbage trucks, and I am not waiting till Friday morning getting mad at my environment that they're not cooperating with the self tape. So I got it in, you know, I did it Thursday. We moved, I moved things around in my schedule that I had Thursday to get it in on Thursday. I got it in a day early and also knowing my environment. So I think that's helpful. Uh, and I booked a job. So that was good too. <laughs>